Hello everybody you found in Tunis, welcome to another Team Fortress 2 video playing as the It Doesn't Matter. I am back. I didn't post a video last week, I mentioned in a video of Zombie Army Trilogy that I played and made. Ooh, played and made, I rhymed. And, uh, uh, what was it, what was it? I mentioned that I was going to be in Spain for the week, and I was, and that is why there was no upload on Saturday. But, I'm back now, and this video is now on the YouTube, on the Saturday, for you to watch, with the eyeballs. So, that's all fine and dandy. For those of you that probably don't know, I really didn't want to go to Spain, and it wasn't just because I didn't feel like I was interested in the culture, which was totally wrong. I mean, I went there, and there were really cool things. Like, I saw a flamenco show, which was pretty crazy. I mean, it was on a bunch of, like, dancers and stuff. And you feel like if there was a person below those dancers who were, like, stomping their feet like a madman like that, that's what sort of flamenco dancing is. It's a lot of stepping and a lot of, like, passionate type of interpretive improv type dance is what it is. And I always think to myself, oh my god, if there was a person underneath them, they would get crushed. But, uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. I enjoyed myself there, but I really, really didn't want to go. The reason I didn't want to go, though, is because I'm horrified of flying. I was absolutely horrified of flying. And when I got on the plane that night with my parents to go to Spain, I would, I teared up a little bit. I actually was crying a little bit. I was so afraid. I didn't run away from the plane, though. I had to go. It's something I had to do for my family. So I did. And it really wasn't that bad. Like, it really wasn't that bad. It's like, for those of you who might be afraid of flying... It's like going on a bus, really. It's very smooth, it can sometimes get a little bumpy. But hey, so can riding on a bus or a train. And, uh, statistically you are more likely to be killed by a donkey. I don't know if you knew that, but that's actually a legitimate statistic. I don't know if that's true anymore. But, I can imagine it probably is, because really, it felt very safe. So this totally not forced because I have to upload a video tomorrow on the Friday, the day I'm recording this. This commentary is about women. You might be thinking, Natunist, you're a man. You know nothing about women. And I would tell you, you are right. No man truly understands the complicated psyche that is the beauty of woman. But I felt like I wanted to make a commentary about it because they've sort of been involved in my life in a sense. Or, not involved, but sort of like a lack of involvement is what it is. I've been a little depressed as of late. Not like uber, like, clinically depressed or anything, but just kind of sad. And I think it might be about, like, I think it might be about women. Because, like, I should be totally proud of myself right now. I mean, my parents keep telling me over and over again how proud of me they are that I conquered my fear of flying. And now I'm really not afraid of it anymore. Which is really awesome. I thought I'd never be because I've been horrified of flying since I was, like, four. But that's besides the point. Well, it's not besides the point, but you understand. I've just sort of been upset about that. Not because I'm single. I mean... I'm not, like, I'm a mature person. No, not really. But you, mature in the sense that I realize that I don't need to be in a relationship to define my self-worth. No one does. Just because you're single, that doesn't mean you're, like, lesser than anyone else. It's nice to be in a relationship, of course. But it's not always a necessity. It can sometimes feel like that, though. And I like having a girlfriend. I love having, like, a companion that you can, like, play video games with, tell jokes with, and, uh, have sex with. Yeah. Because really, in my eyes, that's what love is. Love or marriage, if you want to define it, is having a best friend you can f That's what a relationship truly is to me. It's having a best friend that you can put your doodle into. And honestly, I mean, when I'm attracted to a woman, nothing really that major happens. If I'm like talking to like a woman, that's totally fine. I mean, nothing like major happens. But if there's a woman that I'm like insanely attracted to and would want to pursue in a relationship, I'm awkward as hell. The awkwardness turns on, my inner nerd comes out, and I wouldn't- I don't ramble, I just- it's the opposite of that. I can't think of anything to say. You know, sometimes you see a girl that's like so hot to the point where like, it's intimidating. You'll- you'll tell yourself like, excuses that like, oh, she's out of my league and stuff, oh, she's over there, I probably shouldn't bother her. When in reality, think about it, would you be bothered if like, somebody of the opposite sex you were attracted to came over to you and like, just started chatting you up? No. They might be shy, like, because they were attracted to you, but in the end, you would probably have a nice conversation. And, and I sometimes avoid having that happen just because I let my own nervousness get the better of me. Like, there's this girl in my class, like, I'm not in love with her or anything, I barely know her. It's just like, I saw that girl and I'm like, oh my god, she is healthy. That is a healthy woman, I would like to pursue that. But then I don't wind up doing it, because I feel, like, crazy intimidated, right? And honestly, if I were a woman, if I knew that, which some women do, I would kind of feel a little offended. 
Like, try and put this in, like, the perspective of, like... Just try and put this in their perspective, right? If you're, like, attracted to a woman, like, insanely attracted to a woman, but you can't talk to her, hypothetically, say that woman knows that. Say that woman knows you're attracted to her and that you can't talk to her. In If I were the woman, I would be a little offended, don't you think? I would be kind of offended that, like, a person can't talk to me or that they're intimidated by me when I haven't really done anything to intimidate them. I just happen to be a very beautiful person, and that prevents them from talking to me, a human being. Like, that's because that's what women are. They're just people. They're just totally people you can go up and talk to. So really, you should have no problem with it, but some guys do. I mean, I'm not, I don't have, like, selective mutism or anything like that. I'm not, I can't actually not talk to women. If I'm forced to be in a scenario where I have to talk to an incredibly attractive woman, I'll do it. I mean, I'm not like that, but if I'm trying to pursue the woman, I'm, like, clueless. I don't exactly know what to do or anything because but I've been in relationships uh, I've been in relationships before. Yeah, like I mean I've been in relationships before. I've been in a very long relationship and then afterwards after that I was in a very short one, but there were relationships nonetheless. And you think to yourself, Natunist, if you're awkward with women who you deem to be crazy attractive, then how have you been in those relationships before? The relationships were like honestly, they were kind of handed to me in a sense. My first girlfriend, right? Uh, my first girlfriend was when I was in, like, uh, when I was, uh, what was it? It was when I was in my high school's musical back when I was in high school. And one day, this girl just, like, walks up to me, smiles, laughs a little bit, and then she just sits on my lap. For, like, no reason at all. She just totally made the first move. And then after, like, a month, we, would like, started hanging out, hugging, talking, kissing, things like that. And the relationship started. And that was the girl I was with for a very long time. Then she broke up with me, like, and then I started dating this other girl for a while, this girl that was in my choir, and it was totally awesome. We played video games, we had fun, it was a great relationship. But the point is, though, the relationship, the, I can't say the word relationship for some reason, the relationships were, like, handed to me. Because the first one, she was the initiator, and the other one, we just started, like, messaging each other on Facebook one night, and I was able to just ask her to hang out without having to actually look at her or make eye contact with her. That doesn't count. That's easy. And believe me, when I was a teenager, I was even worse. I asked a girl out on Facebook once. Not publicly. Not publicly, because I'm not a moron. But I did do it. I did do it. It was awkward, and I really thought the girl liked me, and I was genuinely surprised. But that's besides the point. And it sucks. Because it provides the stereotype of gamers. You know the stereotype of gamers, that they're all virgins, that they've never had girlfriends before, that they don't know what it's like to be in a relationship, that they would be horrible at relationships. It provides that stereotype because I am a gamer and I'm not necessarily the best with really attractive women. Who, by the way, if you can't talk to them, um, not that if you can't talk to them, but say like you can talk to a woman normally and she knows that about you, that you have like trouble talking to really attractive women, that would offend, like, that woman, too. Because then that would mean, like, you're not attracted to her. That would mean ye that would mean that she knows that you don't think she's pretty. So in the sense that you're intimidated, like, by talking to women like that, they would be the ones really getting offended, and they have the right to. It makes total sense. But anyway, I was just backtracking on what I said before, and I shouldn't do that. Um... What was I talking about? Yes, it provides the stereotype that gamers, like, don't know how to be in relationships. And that, like, women are just, like, foreign concepts to them, or, like, foreign objects. And that's, that's honestly not true. Like, some people have the perception that, like, oh, gamers are all gay. They're all stupid, retarded, gay, and they're asexual. And that's not true. What inspired me to actually start making this video, well, not, what, yes, what inspired me to actually hit the record button and actually say things in this video to open up Audacity, I just watched a Hannah Minx video. And I did it for the only reason that any guy would ever watch a Hannah Minx video. Just roll the clip, just roll the clip. God bless that woman and her absolute insane sexiness and her massive boobs of glory. I really hope she's not dead. Anyway, the point is, there is hope. If there are people, if there, if you have trouble talking to women, or like you, like are all down on yourself because you feel like you can't be with women, like oh, like women don't like me, they'll never like me. That's not true. There's someone for everyone. Regardless if you believe in soulmates or not, there really is someone for everyone. There's gonna be someone you click with. You'll have a friend. You'll have a friend, and then you might be able to be more than friends. Relationships can start in a variety of ways. 
They can start online. They can start if you're in a club with someone. Sometimes you might just be sitting next to somebody on a park bench. Dating can be hard. Dating can be really hard, especially for my generation, because my generation sucks at it. It's just not one of the things they're good at. But in the end, it will be all worth it. I promise you, no matter how awkward you are, no matter how, like, if you're like a little kid, no matter how awkward you are, if you get bullied in school or anything because of it, just know you are going to be more successful one day. You, you are cultivating a personality right now. In your mind, your body might still be developing, but hey, you'll be so much stronger than other people in different suits. And you will find someone because of that. You just gotta, like, make the initiation into something. Maybe, like, something you love, like, join a gaming club, there might be a woman there. Or, like, you know, join theater. Join theater or something. I did. And that's where I had, that's where I met my first girlfriend. And she was, she was one of the greatest things that ever happened to me. For a bunch of reasons that I can't even really explain on here, as it would take too long and the video would be way too long regardless. But, there is hope. Don't beat yourself up. Don't ever be down on yourself. Because you matter. You matter, and your self-worth is not defined by if you're in a relationship or not. I promise you that. Don't think down on yourself just because I've never had a girlfriend before, or I've never kissed a girl or anything, because tons of people haven't. Maybe not people my age, like 18 years old, but if you're like a teenager, trust me, tons of them have not. I guarantee most of them probably haven't. Maybe not the popular kids, but hey, I mean, they're sometimes popular kids can be like drug addicts and crap, but that's besides the point. I was originally just going to open up this video to complain. To complain myself about how, like, I can't be with a woman, even though I've been with two. And that, why do that? That's just going to dig me into a deeper hole of depression. And I don't want to do that, so what can I do? I thought I'd make this video, open it up, hopefully inspire some people to not give up on themselves. And in turn, that would make me feel better. Because the best way that you can make some, that you can make yourself feel better is by making other people feel better. That's the key to happiness. Making other people feel great. Well, I guess that's it. So, uh... <laughs> oh, you can thank me for the Hand and Minx clip later, by the way. I don't know if I already said that. But if I did, I'm, I'm sorry I said it again. If not, whatever. Not a big deal. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll start uploading on a regular basis again. I'm sorry I missed the one Saturday last week. But thank you so much again for watching. And I will see you next time.